everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com and bodymindthesoulspirit.com and I'd like to welcome you all to another episode of Afterthoughts. And this time we're covering the afterthoughts from my latest video that was talking about purging the shadow self. And afterwards I have a, spe uh, a special message for my Patreon people. A um, little inside information that I really can't put out publicly, but these guys will kind of get the inside scoop on something that is going on that I think people should know about, but it's nothing major. Don't worry about it. You're not really missing out on any, anything. So, uh, you know, for those who aren't subscribed to the Patreon, um, but to those who have, um, I'm very grateful. And all of your names are listed on the, uh, the eternal wall of gratitude which you can find on the front page of in5d.com okay so uh, oh speaking of patreon some people were saying that they had a difficult difficult time signing up so if you are give me a shout um, I, we have like 50 some odd 56 people that signed up already but apparently some people are having a hard time signing up let me know about it okay all right so these energies, before we get to the stuff I missed, <laughs> these energies have been crazy uh, lately. Yesterday, I took another four hour nap. <laughs> it's insane. And I ended up staying up until maybe, I don't know, three o'clock in the morning after taking a, a four hour nap. But the strange part was, is that I woke up at 10.30, I never sleep that late. I think the, like the latest I'll ever sleep is maybe 8.30. You know, even if I go to bed late, you know, I don't really usually need a lot of sleep. But man, I slept until 10.30 yesterday. That was, well, this morning. That was crazy. Uh, you got, are you guys going through that? Like, you know, these waves that are going through are just knocking you out. Um, let me know about that if you are. I posted an article today about this one, this uh, energy wave that's going through, and I included a animated GIF on it as well. But the article was called "Energy Update: Bizarre 92 Plus Mile Mile Per Hour Energy Wave Documented Traveling from East to West in the U.S." And uh, I, I put together this animated GIF um, showing how it's moving and as quickly as it's moving as well. So uh, today I went to the USGS website where I got those pictures from, those still pictures, and I checked it and it's still going on again today. So uh, maybe this has some kind of correlation to those white spots that we're seeing on the Schumann resonance maps or perhaps it has some kind of um, correlation to these energy waves that we're feeling right now got to just wait it out and see what happens. Excuse me. You know what I'm drinking. <laughs> Yummy. So I also made a post afterwards about, you know, I, I do follow the QAnon movement. And uh, Q was saying, let me see if I can find the post. Bear with me. Here it is. On Q's latest post, uh, drop 1377, he said, do you trust POTUS, President of the United States? Does POTUS, POTUS trust Sessions to protect the lives of our brave law enforcement, our country, reconcile? Would Sessions be Attorney General still if he were deep state? This threw up a red flag for me because Jeff Sessions is either a complete fucktard or he's a, a master actor. He's going to win an Academy Award for acting. Uh, Jeff Sessions is the one that, you know, they, they were putting up a, a bill to, you know, basically legalize marijuana. He's like, fuck no. And um, yeah, he shot that down. He's like very 
anti-marijuana when it has so many positive uses other than just recreationally. I think it's asinine. And then uh, apparently um, recently last month, he is pushing forward to get whistleblower Julian Assange arrested. So either he's playing a masterful role in order to try to bring in these corrupt people um, that would trust him as being an insider on Trump's team, seeing how he's taking these stances that would normally upset most truthers, or he's just a fucktard. <laughs> But it was like a red flag for me. And, but I'm going to, you know, the whole thing for me is, number one, QAnon is not your savior. I'm not your savior. You are your own savior, okay? <laughs> Let's make that abundantly clear. Um, number two, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt right now and see where it goes. Because in the event that Jeff Sessions is a masterful actor, he does des deserve an award because he's playing the villain right now on the good guy's team. Number three, none of it's real. <laughs> That's the funny part. Uh, you know, we are just, you know, individual beings having these spiritual experiences as our consciousness co-create with one another and it's all playing out like this. So it's, it's really all fascinating to watch unfold as it is right now. Okay, so, you know, every time I, I do a, a Facebook Live, just like a kajillion people, I'm so grateful for everybody that tunes in and joins me. Um, the problem is, is that the chat moves so fast, <laughs> I can't keep up with it. I was like trying to keep up and I would, would check out a response and I was like 10 minutes behind. <laughs> it's crazy. But, uh, you know, I try. And I was just surprised and so grateful and blessed that so many people tuned in the last time because I didn't really tell anyone about it. I basically do the lives. When I go live, it's just when spirit guides me to. So, you know, if I get guided to do something, I'll do it. And there's really not much heads up. So thank you everyone for uh, joining me on that, whether it was live or whether you saw the recorded version. I just want to, here's a comment from Lorraine Mitchell. And she said, I didn't see anything from you for a long time. And a lot of people have mentioned that, you know, even though they might have C first and, uh, you know, on, on the N5D page, they're still not getting stuff. And, you know, obviously I, there's a serious shadow ban against not just me, but many of us in the spiritual community. And it's, it's quite unfortunate, but you know, it's, it's also like a badge of honor. <laughs> you know, we must be doing something right if they don't want our message out. So what I uh, would recommend, Lorraine, is that you sign up for uh, the emails um, that we have. We have either a weekly uh, newsletter that I send out every Monday or you can get the daily one. Now, I'm, I'm having issues right now with Mail Poet, who I use for my um, daily email sender, and they're, they're forwarding the issue on to another team. Although I was able to send out the weekly one with a different um, email uh, plugin that I use on my website. So the weekly one's fine. You guys should have received that by now. So. And hopefully the daily one will get up and running. So just bear with us. Uh, we're going to get it all worked out. And thank you for the comment and the heads up, Lorraine. Okay. Um, Philome Gray um, had a question. She said, I have had a few chest constrictions about 15 minutes long. Is that ascension upgrades? What that sounds like to me, I'm not a physician. <laughs> and no, I didn't spend a night in the Holiday Inn Express last night. But um, yeah, it's an old commercial. Some of you guys, it'll go right over your head. Anyway, uh, chest constrictions. Yeah, what that sounds like to me is that your your heart chakra is getting upgraded. It's it, you know the chest is the heart, the center, the heart chakra. So it sounds like a heart chakra upgrade. But if you feel that this is something of medical concern, by all means, go see your physician. The disclaimer. But yeah, it sounds like the heart chakra. 
Isaac Fernside Molly. I believe he said he's from Australia. So good day, mate. Uh, he said, Greg, I have felt really depressed lately, but I understand this is to be a cleansing process. I have been sleeping twice as much as usual, and my dreams have been much more intense. The numbers speak to me, and the ascended masters are guiding me. But the constant purge of negative energy is very degrading. Well, I'm sorry about your depression. Um, you know, that's, that might have its own issues to be dealt with. And of course, you know, this is part of the purging process is what we're going through is we're getting rid of a lot of the stuff that's been holding, holding us down and keeping us uh, you know, from progressing in our you know, spiritual, spiritual progression. So, um, you know, hopefully you've been, you said you've been sleeping twice as much. Hopefully this is helping with your symptoms and you are getting those upgrades by sleeping twice as much. It's probably telling you that, okay, well, you do need to sleep because there's a, some extra work we have to do on you to help you with this. But um, also realize that, you know, some of these things you have to do yourself too. Um, we can only go so far when we get these upgrades, but there's certain levels you can only get upgraded to until you've done that work and then it progresses up to the next level. So it's possible that hopefully it's helping you address those symptoms of depression. Um, but uh, ultimately, you know, it's something you probably have to work on. And my number one recommendation would be to ground, um, get out in nature and uh, until you feel the beauty of everything that's around you and it has to lift the depression from you. So get out there, you know, preferably barefooted. Although in Australia, I think it's approaching winter time. Um, but if you can get out there barefooted and uh, give that a shot. And I hope that helps. Okay, PJ Fay, uh, can you talk about the body vibrations? Lately, it's happened more often. And it's sometimes hard to discern what it means a good sign or not. Very different these these uh, days and yeah the vi body vibrations I always think I, I would never discern them as something negative I, I think that you know if you if you look at energy a vibration is energy and what you're receiving are these energy upgrades and when you get those body vibrations you're literally and physically feeling the upgrade going on and it's really cool not everyone's gonna feel the um, body vibrations like that so you know it's, it's, it's quite special that you actually do um, even in even though you're not feeling them, these are the people that are not experiencing the vibrations. You're still getting them, <laughs> okay? All right. But some people are just more energy sensitive, and they are going to pick them up as the physical vibration going through them. So I hope that answered your question, PJ. Linda Wing Winger said, "What about beautiful people who have not awoken?" They're good to go. <laughs> Honestly, they, they have no problem whatsoever as far as I'm concerned. Excuse me. <clears throat> A friend of mine is <coughs> an FBI agent in Louisiana, and she's amazing. I love her. Um, beautiful, beautiful soul. And... Uh, She's, she's the kind of person that just comes up to you and says, I love you, man. <laughs> you, you just got to smile when you see her. She just radiates that. You know, she, she owned a, a Mayan calendar in her house. Had no idea why she had it. She's like, I just liked it. It was cool. <laughs> so, you know, you know these people that are just really good souls. And some people, you know, they, they get it without having to delve into what is a spirit guide. What is a walk-in soul? They're just really good people and they get it. So, you know, if you're a good person, you're good to go, basically. Um, you know, for us that are just delving into the spiritual field, we're just taking things a little bit further and really helping progress our spiritual progression as far as we can go while we're here in this third-dimensional reality. Okay. So, Nicole Personette is asking... What is up with the Avengers? I didn't do any research on this, um, so I really don't know. Um, 
But I know somebody that went to see that movie, and if, if it's the same movie I'm thinking of, it ended horribly, where all the superheroes got killed, <laughs> knocked off, and um, the villain wins in the end. And he's sitting there, uh, from what I was told, watching, he's on a mountain watching the sunset. Well, you know, that's your, you know, sun symbol when the sun sets, you know, that's Jesus walking on water because of, of the reflection. So you can see the symbolism that was in there. Um, but I, I, just, I think it's basically the controller's last gasp effort to put out a, a movie like that where the good guys lose because <laughs> we're not going to lose. We've already won. This event's already happened, and there's nothing they can do to stop it. So, you know, for them to put that negative energy out there and for it to be like one of these best selling movies, you know, setting box office records, yeah, yeah, they can say whatever they want, but, you know, I don't even honestly believe that. Why would people go to see such a crappy movie anyway? So, you know, <laughs> what's my thought on it? Don't go to the movies, there's just a bunch of crap out there. <laughs> Spend your time going within. Watch the stars. Look for UFOs. <laughs> Meditate. Do anything. Do anything but go to the movies and watch TV. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sabrina Hurley is asking if I see shadows and outlines of people, what does that mean? That's a great question. Uh, well, it sounds like you're you're kind of going in and out of dimensions or you're just starting to tap into what your abilities are in this dimension it could be either one it's hard to say um, but yeah I, I know that there's times where I don't know about you what was it, uh, Sabrina yeah um, but I'll see uh, sometimes I'll directly see the entities in front of me other times I catch them in my peripheral vision and you turn and they're gone but you know they're there You've seen them. <laughs> but other times I see them directly and sometimes multiple um, beings like that. So um, it all depends on, you know, what these these shadows are and the and who these beings are. It's possible that you're going in and out of, of, of dimensions into the fifth dimension and seeing beings there that exist. Or it could be beings here on the third dimensional slash slash fourth dimensional um, plane. That you're seeing but it's 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 exciting either way so if you have any updates on that let us know okay isaac once again uh isaac our friend from um australia is saying greg do you think psychedelic drugs have any place in spirituality <laughs> oh gosh How do I tactfully, tactfully answer this? I would say that um, watch as many Terrence McKenna videos as you can, and that would be my answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't go out and recommend that you do this or that, but uh, I truly do like Terrence McKenna's perspective. Let's put it that way, okay? And uh, Isaac had another question. He said, uh, what can you share on Ascended Masters? Uh, just be careful, okay? Um, once again, you know, you don't want to fall into this, these savior role mentalities, like, uh, you know, QAnon being a savior, or anyone that claims that they're the ones that you have to go through to, in order to do this or that or whatever. Uh, it's a huge red flag because we are the ones that we have been waiting for. I've seen and felt the event. There's no savior that was involved. It just happens, okay? So with, with the Ascended Masters, uh, if you're looking at them for guidance or to bring you to a place that you think you need to be then go for it but ultimately what you're gonna find is that you had the answers inside the whole time okay so um, don't try to <laughs> put all of your energy seeking as much as you do when you go within okay 
you have all the answers right there. And, uh, you know, I, w I was channeling. I've been channeling all my life. And um, it wasn't until maybe about six years ago that I cut off the channel with the beings I was channeling uh, from because I didn't need them. They never misled me, but I felt like on the, I, I didn't need them anyway. So, um, you know, to me, I, I just go directly to source. Um, some people are amazing at channeling. Um, Magenta Pixie, I, I love her work. Um, Barbara Marciniak, although Barbara became a little tainted at the end, a little bit bitter, you know, the last couple of years. But her early stuff, earlier stuff was amazing. Yeah, and I, I listen and I love listening to anyone who channels, but, uh, you know, for my, myself, I just go whoop, directly to source. <laughs> and that's, that's where I got that galactic download when I surrendered that one night and, and just told the universe, I give up. What is it you want me to do? And I completely surrendered. And universe creator source uh, gave me this galactic download that told me everything about what I needed to do. Building the website in 5D, they gave me the name in 5D right down the line. So um, when you cut off the middleman, which could be archangels or you know ascended masters and all that stuff, when you cut off the middleman and go directly to source, you'll have the answers and uh, you'll know it too. So. That's just my recommendation. Like I said, if you want to go down that path, go for it. You know, if you're feeling, feeling like you're being led down that path, do it. I know eventually, though, you're going to come within. You're going to go within yeah, for the answers. Okay, a um, couple more. Bethany Kukan Sparks, what are your thoughts on the possibility of Mars becoming a sustainable planet? I, You know, I imagine there's sentient life on just about every planet in our solar system so yeah that wouldn't surprise me although you know a lot of things that we have heard about mars is that it's basically a slave planet a lot of the abductions um, have been taken there to mars to work as slaves basically so you know it, the possibility of mars becoming a sustainable planet i think it already is but it's not being used in a good way right now and lastly we have Stacy Goldburn and, and she's asking do you have workshops in Siesta Key and no you know occasionally we have conferences here uh, occasionally I, you know I was doing the the beach meetups which I need to do again I'd like to get that started again but they're not really workshops it's just you know uh, I'll start off with a topic and I just let it go wherever you guys want to take it. We just, and it's not about me. I'm just you know, the one bringing everyone together, you know, and I, I'd much rather make it about all of us and uh, whatever everybody wants to contribute. That's the way it's going to be. So it's not really a workshop, but it's a great way to get together and with like-minded people and enjoy a Sunday afternoon on the 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sands of Siesta Key Beach. So I think that's going to do it right now for um, my YouTube people. <laughs> I've got a, a few messages I want to give to my Patreon people from this point forward. So, you know, I, I thank you all for tuning in and watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next time that um, I do I, another video on whatever format I choose, <laughs> okay? Namaste to all my YouTube people and Facebook people. I'm sending you much love and gratitude and light. Love you all.